Hi everybody, welcome to Mrs. Elefante's virtual classroom, where science learning is fun. Hello everyone, for today's video, I am going to show you the geologic age lab. Geologists use radioactive elements to determine the absolute age of rocks. As elements decay, they undergo radioactive decay, changing into daughter elements and releasing energy. This happens at a set rate, and scientists can measure this rate as a half-life of the element. Today, we will experiment with finding the half-life of a fictional element. Here are the materials for us to complete this lab. First, we need a shoebox with lid, 100 pieces of cubes, it could be dyes, sugar cubes, homemade cubes, and styrofoam. So I have this foam cubes I got from the dollar store. And one pack has 50 pieces, as you can see here. And now this will be 100 pieces. My cubes. And a permanent marker. So just remember, these cubes represent an imaginary chemical element, lucium. Mark only one side of each cube with a permanent marker. So we are going to get one cube, for example, and we're just gonna mark one side with a marker, like so. So I'm gonna do this for all of the cubes. So I'm only marking one side, as you can see. If you are using dies, you will focus on the dies that land with the one side facing up. But this one, we have to mark one side. And then, every time we mark something, we are going to place it in a shoebox. So I'm just going to do it for all of the 100 cubes. Now that we have all our cubes into the shoe box, we are going to cover it with a lid and then turn the box over twice. I'm going to shake it. One and two. And then we are going to remove the lid and take out the cubes that have marked side up. If you are using dies, take out the dies that have landed one side facing up. These cubes represent the atoms that have decayed into daughter elements, or DOL, or the daughter of lucid. So we're going to take out one by one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is side and side. I am not going to get it. So eight, I'll do this one, nine, and that's it, nine. And then I'm going to go to my table and trial one, number of cubes removed is nine. And then number of cubes remaining, so that's, that's gonna be 100 minus nine, which is just 91. Then I'm going to do it again. One, two. Fourteen, fifteen. So I have fifteen cubes removed. Subtract ninety-one minus fifteen. 
x is 76. And 18. 76 minus 18 is 58. Eleven. Forty-seven. I have 14. So this is 33. Eight. So for my first trial, I have six cubes remaining because um, I only have 12 trials, so that's okay. The point here is we are going to check what, what trial um, we were able to get half of the cubes, which is about 50. So in here, as you can see, we have trials 3 and 4, where we have 47 and 58. So it's just remember trials 3 and 4. Repeat the entire process from step three collecting data on the second chart. So we're just gonna repeat it and complete this second data table. So
so here as you can see after trial 12 I have 19 left and for the first trial I have 6 left you can actually go and add more tables so you can have here um, trial 13, 14, 15 until such time you get a 0 but the point is we are just going to see at which trial we have uh, the we reach the half life which is half of the number of cubes which is 50 so again for trial 1 we have in between trial 3 and 4 with 58 and 47 respectively for test 2 we, we are looking at trial 4 and 5 with 52 and 47 respectively so given those data uh, we already have completed the collection charts you are now going to construct the graph to represent the data in each table on the vertical axis plot the number of cubes remaining each time on the horizontal axis plot the number of trials so now i have transferred the data to our excel spreadsheet as you can see we have table a and table b you can actually combine both but i'm just going to show you how to do it individually as well so now we are going to create a graph. So what you're going to do is highlight these two columns and insert and choose a line graph. Line graph would be best for this type of data. So there you go. Um, we don't really need this blue line here. So we're just going to delete that blue line in a bit. And like this. So delete the blue line. All right, so it's really important that you put the appropriate title for your graph. So it says here the number of cubes remaining after 12 trials. And you can change your legend and, um, you know, label your X and Y axis. So your X axis should be the number of trials and your Y axis should be the number of cubes. All right, so now we can actually combine both tables A and B. So you're just going to copy um, table B and add another column and insert and select line graph. So here you are going to remove the blue line because we don't really need that. So the orange one is for table A and the green one is for table B. As you can see, they do have the same trend. It's going down, which is decreasing as the number of trials increases, which means as the number of years go by, the half-life of lecume or the daughter of lecume also decreases. Yes, you can also change title here and um, give the appropriate legend. So it's the number of cubes remaining after 12 trials for um, tables A and B. So there you have it. But um, specifically on your um, portfolio, you are asked to put two separate graphs. So just might as well do separate graphs for both. And finally, you are going to answer the data analysis questions. Um, what is the half-life of the element lecum? After which trial did you reach the half-life of lecum for each test? How did the graphs compare? And what would you expect a third test to look like? And then you are now ready to draw your conclusions. So having studied the data for patterns and trends, you should now be able to draw some conclusions about how knowing the half-life of the element lecum would help you determine the absolute age of rock in which this element is found. In a paragraph, create an imaginary example of finding a given amount of lecum and DOL or daughter of lecum in a rock and then determining the absolute age of that rock. Assume that each trial represents 1,000 years. So so there you have it guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, then go ahead and give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you will be notified of our upcoming videos. So if you have questions, let me know in the comment section below and there you have it. Happy learning. Until next time. Bye-bye.